Hello everybody, this is Multi24 Gaming and I am here with Ship Simulator Extremes. We are back with the Greenpeace mission scenarios and we are on number three, Slippery Business. So apparently, in the last 24 hours, a large number of oil stains have washed up on the shoreline. The Rainbow Warrior must go to sea and help the authorities find the culprit. Good luck. We are going to be taking this ship right here, the Rainbow Warrior. And we are going to be taking her out to sea to find the culprit of these oil stains. We have to figure out who's doing it and then report back to the Coast Guard so we get them in trouble. Now, I am super excited because I love this little boat here, this green piece uh, Rainbow Warrior. And it also has these two little dinghies that uh, we have had to drive in the past two episodes of the green piece scenario as well. So I'm very, very excited to... Um, to do this mission with you guys, and I hope that you guys stay, stick it, stick it through with me, and uh, we can catch these guys together. Okay, this isn't too bad, actually. Where are we? Are we still in Rotterdam? I don't know, but here is our ship. Let's unmoor it quickly. Um, head out to sea. Captain, we have a critical situation. In the last 24 hours, a lot of oil has washed up on the shorelines of the Netherlands. It has been first noticed on the coast of Texel, and now it has been spotted between the North Sea Canal and The Hague. Take your ship and head straight out to sea. We need to help the authorities to stop this disaster. Okay, so we're going to unmoor the ship then. Unmoor that, unmoor that, unmoor that, and unmoor that. And we could probably even walk around the ship and do it, which would be really cool. We'll try that out next time. Uh, but we're ready to go. So let's turn the RPM this way and see if anything happens. Because I'm really still trying to figure out what this thing does. Doesn't look like it even, doesn't look like it does anything. Does it push our ship away? No, it is. It is. It is increasing our speed. It is moving us away, sort of. Okay, no, we're going to drift. Okay. Um, we're going to back up, full back. This thing ain't helping us very well. All right, and let's see while the ship is doing that where it wants us to go. Okay, it wants us to go here. Sweet. Okay, so we're going to make our... Um, our waypoint there then, right there, uh, looks like we're in a pretty good position right now, let's zoom out and see if I know this area, oh, we're in a river, okay, very cool, sweet, okay, so we're gonna be backing up, let's zoom back in, um, there we are, and, uh, nope, okay, that's the exit button there. And now we're going to turn this thing around in this river. That might be a little hard. Uh, I'm not really sure how I'm going to pull this off. Let's, uh... Not really sure. Let's see. This will do it. Yeah. So we're just going to full back and turn around and face towards the waypoint. And then we're just going to full forward. Full throttle. And get this rainbow warrior to where it needs to be. So, as you can see, if you haven't seen any of these episodes before, this is number three, so you guys might want to go and view the other ones, but, um, my favorite part of this ship is the, or this game, is the fact that you can walk around the ships. So, here we are, backing up, um, hopefully not into whatever that is. There's another ship out there, and we can zoom in a lot, too, let's see. Look at that little tugboat. Is that a tugboat? No, some sort of, I'm not sure what that is, actually. Hard to tell. We're almost facing the right direction, probably almost to the point where we can full forward without a problem. There's a tugboat. That's a tugboat right there. Yeah. Okay, that's the direction we want to go, I think. Yep, our doodles. Okay, so. Let's full forward. Uh, that would be there. And we're going to want to turn this thing that way, just for a couple seconds. Not for long. We're good, we're good. I'll show you guys a little bit around back here. It's a little computer area. Look at these ancient computers. Back when Greenpeace was... Or maybe... There's that ship going by. Greenpeace, I guess they're still active. I don't know much about them anymore. I used to know a lot. Um, I used to watch the uh, Whale Wars episodes. The Sea Shepherds, I remember. Um protecting whales in the Antarctic. Let me get this thing where it's supposed to go. Okay, and we're gonna get this thing autopilot on. Hopefully we don't collide with these other two ships while on autopilot. I'm gonna turn autopilot on, and hopefully it'll let me speed up time till we get to 
the waypoint. Oh, we're about to collide with another ship. I don't really think so. I think we're pretty okay. Autopilot. Come on, buddy. I'm not going to collide with another ship. The autopilot in this game is a little screwy. See, we're, it's getting further away from us, so we're not going to collide with it. But we're definitely catching up to it. Now, as soon as we start catching up to it, it tells us we're going to collide with it. But this is the ship I think it's worried about right now. But what the thing is, we don't want it to be worried because there's no reason for it to be worried because we're not going to crash into it. Alright, use your binoculars to find the ship. Follow the stains and use your binoculars to find the ship. Okay, um, do you guys see any stains? And I didn't know we have we had binoculars. Might as well look. Let's go into the captain's seat. There are binoculars over here, but I didn't know you could use them. Let me walk around. Can I use them? I don't think so. Okay, we need to deploy the extra, the other little boat then. We've alerted the authorities, but we need conclusive evidence, okay? Um, we cannot approach any further, otherwise the vessel will notice us and run off. Deploy the RHIB and try to get close enough to the ship so you can get a better picture of it. They only have got a short time before they'll notice us, so you have to be really quick about it. Okay, so that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to release this dinghy. Whoops, that was the wrong one. I'm going to pick this one back up, and we're going to get into the dinghy. Get into the captain's seat, and we're gonna go. Now, this ship should stop. I don't know if it will or not. Hopefully it will. Looks like it's still going. Um, I think I turned it off, but whatever, we'll see. Let's get to this ship. I think this is the evil one that's doing all this bad stuff. So it's going to be quite a trip there, it looks, woo! And these waves are a little, like, <laughs> a little sketchy. Here we go. Here we go, full speed. Almost there. Whoa! The texture's just loaded in, wow. That's very cool looking. Alright, big ship. Oh, there's the propeller. You can even see the propeller in there. Wow. Where's the oil stains, though? Oh, is that it? Ew, that is the oil stain. Okay. So, we're here. Oh, we need a picture of it. Okay. I can take care of that. Okay, I took a picture. It says we're too far away to take a proper photo. Okay, we're getting closer then. Where's the photo ability? Here it is. Whoa, we're getting close. Okay, well, is that good enough for you? Oh, should I take a, maybe I should take a photo of the, the oil spill. Let's see about this. Um, okay, here we go. I'm not really paying attention to where the other the other boat is right now. It says we're too far away. How do we get closer to this thing? Okay, there's the other boat. It looks like it's fine, but it still looks like it's moving, and I don't like that. I don't like the fact that it's moving. Ew, here's the oil. We're riding through the oil now. Turn around. Okay, we're going to take the photo now. No, not that photo, this photo. You're too far away from the ship. All right, we're going to get as close to this ship as we possibly can then. Too far away, my butt. We've alerted the authorities. Okay, so we did it. Oh, wait, no. It's the exact same. Okay, how's this for a photo? 
Is that better, huh? Darn it. No. Come on. Take a picture. There we go. We're too far away from the ship. All right, we're going around on the other side then. We're going to go to the front of the ship. <laughs> Unless... No, this has to be the right ship. This is this is obviously the one that's causing the problems. We're going to take a picture from the front then. We'll try and take a picture from the middle too because that might be the problem. Still too far away. Okay. Here we go. We're in front of it now. Hopefully it doesn't run us over. Because that would be very bad. Good picture. That's going to prevent them from doing this for a long time. So we had to do it from the front then. Alright, let's get back to our ship then. It's still moving pretty fast. Let's get back into the captain's seat. Ha! No smoking. How about no oiling, huh? 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 Seriously. Freaking oil ship. Alright. Getting back to our special ship over here. And now we gotta turn this sucker around and dock again. I think. That's gonna be what the case is. Let's see. Alright, we're close enough that now we can switch to the ship. And we should be able to dock this one. Nope, that's not it. This one. Okay, it's back in. Now we can record, return to port, and dock at the designated area. We've transferred the photo to the authorities. This will make sure somebody takes responsibility for polluting the shores. Excellent job, Captain. Now return back to the port and dock at the designated area. Okay, so we're really close to the objective. So I'm basically betting that it's not going to let us... Um, it's almost definitely not going to let us use the autopilot for a bit. So I'm going to turn this thing around. Um, it's already turning itself around right now. Let's get into the captain seat in the bridge. Alright, and you guys can look at all those fancy instruments while I figure out where we are. Where does it want us to go? That's the question. Um... The designated docking area. Oh, is that it? That'd be very nice if it was. Nope. Return back to the port and de uh, go to the designated docking area. Okay, so I'm assuming this is the way. So I'm going to put a waypoint there. And since we're still really close to this big ship, autopilot's probably not going to work. Yep, too close to an objective area. So I'm not sure how far away we have to get before it lets us speed up so of course what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop the recording until we get close to the docking and then I'll have you guys um, be there for the docking and then we'll finish up the video I'm starting to lose my voice my goodness all right the ship's turning around it's almost turned all the way around almost all right goodbye you big ugly low lout loaf <laughs> that is a big ship up there though V I I C V L C C as well is Huh Well then Hi guys, I am back. Um You're probably wondering how I got in this situation and honestly it happened really fast. Um I went into fast travel and it automatically jumped me to in here and um it automatically jumps me to in here, almost uh, crashing into the wall. Now, we are, looks like we're avoiding it, but we have to figure out where the heck we are. Okay, we're here and we want to get here. So we got to basically go into this thing here, set the waypoint to this, and then we have to take the autopilot. Honestly, this autopilot is a pain in the butt. All right, we're going to move this thing then. Turn. We're going to want to go full forward. I'm going to have to do this manually. Okay, into the captain's seat. Let's go. Go forward. No, I said forward. I said forward. And then you are going to go that way a bit. Okay. Um, and we're going to take care of this together, guys. We are not going to crash. We're going to live. Um, 
And living is great. Living is not dying. What does that mean? Oh, it's maybe proximity to, uh... So that's actually, like, kind of close. We're cutting it a bit close there, guys. Woo! Alright. We have to be more careful when doing that next time, then, I guess. Uh, do, 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 stay straight-ish. Heading relatively in the right direction. Now, hopefully, once we get out of this area a little bit, does it tell us the speed? Where's the speed? Um, it probably says up there. Let's see. Hello? No, speed. Nowhere. Well, it says right here. 13.4 knots. Um, and now we're going to try and get that autopilot to work again. Come on, you got this. 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 Yes. Okay. And here's where we're mooring. So, actually, full back, full back, full back, full back. I said full back. Okay. Um... This is where we're supposed to be. Oh, full break. Oh, we get to stop. We don't have to moor. Oh, good deal. Good job, Captain. Your pictures will be key evidence in case against oil dumping company. Ah, usual excellent, as usual, excellent and professional behavior on your side. Keep up the good work. Okay, good deal. So we got special zero. No, we got Greenpeace 0 0.2. All right, that's okay. Let's see what our reward is. Ooh, we got a poster for the Antarctic because that's really relevant. <laughs> All right. Anyway, that's a very nice poster. I might use that in like um, a thumbnail or something because that looks very nice. Very good reward, I think. All right. So next, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, us messing around. Ooh, it looks like that might be the other, uh, the other Greenpeace ship. I'm excited to do that to do that one with you guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye bye.